You're listening to the Empowered Woman, Badass and Unfiltered Podcast, a place for inspiration, empowerment, and personal development. Showcasing badass women from all over the world, giving tips on personal development, mindset, and healing. I'm your host, Olivia, transformational success coach for spiritual female entrepreneurs. Now let's dive into this episode. Welcome back to the Empowered Woman, Badass, and Unfiltered Podcast. Your host, Olivia, here. And I just want to share with you some of the behind the scenes of what it takes to do of the lessons I've learned in the past year and a half of recording this podcast. So I'm about to be doing season seven. Season seven is coming up. And if you don't know this, my seasons are three month long seasons. They don't line up with the actual like quarters of the year. Um, I didn't do that on purpose, but it's more so like season one originally was November, December, January. And then we did February, March, April. Then it's May, June, July, August, September, October, so on and so forth. Well, now that I'm coming up to season seven, I'm like, okay, you know what? I might as well tell these people. (laughs) I might as well just share some of the secrets of the trade of the things that I've learned because I've also almost, I think I've done almost a hundred episodes. So with that being said, like that's, you learn a lot. I've I've spoken with a lot of people. Um, I've made a lot of mistakes. I have not always had the best quality of audio or, and I haven't always utilized my video and I've changed how, like I wanted to do the branding and I've done so many different things, but the one thing that I have done that I can attribute to the success of this podcast is the fact that I've been consistent. I have been consistent in showing up for my, my listeners with you guys, you guys, and I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I wish you guys would talk to me a little more. Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Like, you know, where you're from, who you are, please. Like, send me an email. I would greatly appreciate that. I might actually do an entry, an entry. I'm thinking of it. So give me ideas of what type of giveaway that you would like from me to give to you um, for being a listener. Cause I just, I appreciate you guys more than, you know, because if it wasn't for you, I would not continue doing this. You know, I, I am constantly seeing the numbers increase And I know that there's people that are uh, return listeners and some people that are only one-offs. And I'm just, I'm very, very, very grateful for you. Um, So yeah, just email me, message me on on Instagram, coach underscore live, you know, connect with me. I'm a nice person, I promise. But with all of that being said, I just want to go over a few of the things that I've learned and I I would find really helpful if I were to start a podcast all over again. If I were to start a podcast all over again, I would also start a YouTube channel specific to that podcast and upload the video version of the podcast to YouTube as well. Now, I do upload the video version to my Life Hacks with Liv. And I'm going to keep it that way um, simply because I I would like for that umbrella to be its own, like life hacks with live to show my coaching and my podcast and it not be another thing for me to manage. But if I were a new podcaster starting out that didn't have like all these other things, I would, I would also have a YouTube channel along with the video version of my podcast. Um, Another thing that I would do, I would listen to other podcasts and that's what I did. I I definitely did. I'm a big fan of impact theory and women of impact. Those are some of my favorite, like high level podcasts. And, um, I, I gained so much information from those specialists and the specialists that I interview myself, those, those are these, the, my guests have really helped change my life. They've had a huge impact on me. And that's another thing that you should take note of. You're going to get the biggest benefit out of your podcast. Make sure you're speaking about something that you really want to talk about. Like if you don't want to talk about it, it's going to be real hard to stay consistent. If you don't want to 
if you don't enjoy meeting new people are like working like the behind scenes part, like for when you can hire somebody for that, <laughs> I'll just be honest with you. You can, but if you're not at that point yet um, and you're just starting out, I ha- there's, there's only like two sources that I think that you need. The first one is the podcast guest collaboration group on Facebook. There are 33.8 thousand members in that group as of me checking this like yesterday and that group is not spammy. Like I found so many, I posted in that group once when it came to finding guests for this podcast and I've never needed to find, I never needed to post again. <laughs> now, now I'm, I'm very blessed to have publishers, publicist and, um, you know, P- PR agencies reaching out to me for guests. I'm very, very uh, blessed in that aspect of it. And, you know, I meet some people too that I want, I just want to have on here, but uh, (laughs) it's, I don't get to control all the amazing guests that I have on because, and yes, I can say no to certain things. And I do, I do. But if it's going to bring value to you guys, then that's something that I, I want to add. Um, And that's something that you need to think about as well when you're starting your podcast. Is it going to add value to your listener? Making content for your listener, but also content that you enjoy is very, very, very important in what you're doing. Getting clear on your message and all of that stuff. That's super, super important in the beginning as well. And being and doing a system that works for you. I'll be honest, I batch film my content and I found that, and I think I started doing this a couple of seasons ago. I I record all of my podcast with my guest um at the beginning of the season. The end of the uh, like I'm I'm just now starting to record for season seven, but I've had I had a waiting list for this season because it was that popular, but I, for my own workflow and to also just keep the integrity of like, and I don't want it to be like such a long time span before, like, since I record with a person and their stuff gets out, it's just a good workflow for me. You have to find a workflow that works for you when I, and, and the frequency that you want to record and the frequency that you want to post. I post aggressively. I feel like I post twice a week now. And I started that in December. And I think that that was the season that I had the most guests. And that was season five, season five. I had the most guests because I wasn't doing my own solo podcast as much. So I was recording (laughs) and, and posting like crazy, a crazy amount of podcasts, I feel like, but it really isn't like that much, but You, you meet such amazing people too. So yes, the one group that I think of is um, the podcast collaboration group on Facebook. And then there's another app called Pod Booker. It's not an app. It's a website. It's podbooker.com. And if you have a speaker bio that you want to put up there, as well as a um, podcast bio that you want to put up there you will find people that want to be your guest and you will be booked for podcasts as well. And I've only been, I've been on there for less than a month and I've already done two podcasts on other people's platforms because of the work that I put in to do that. So those, those are really, really good um, resources for you. I'm going to link them below just in case that's something like you're wanting to do. Another tip that I have for you. Make sure you know who you're talking to. If you're having a guest on, make sure you do your research and your due diligence on that person. Make sure that they align with you. Make sure that they align with your audience. Make sure that they don't have ulterior motives because a lot of people have ulterior motives. I would, um, I'd also get a waiver. I would get a waiver and, um, have people sign that waiver. Most people are good, genuine people. Everybody's not. Everybody is not. Um, I will also don't expect people to share your podcast. Uh, don't expect your friends and family to listen to your podcast. 
your friends and family aren't necessarily your audience. Your audience will find you. Um, you just got to stay consistent and keep and keep showing up and finding ways to promote it and don't get tired of talking about it. Um, also, put your RSS feed in Facebook. If you if your host is Anchor or any other host, they don't put your stuff in Facebook. That that was a new added feature, but that has brought me in more listenership. Um, simply because that's pretty cool. So finding different ways, doing your research, your due diligence is important, but get started. You're going to make mistakes on your own. You're going to, you're going to find what works for you and what doesn't, but don't get analysis paralysis where you feel like you got to have it all together and you got to be perfect and all of this other stuff before you can start showing up. It's so important for you to show up and show out because I'm sure that if you're listening to this and you are thinking about creating a podcast, you've got a message that you want to share and the someone in this world needs to hear it. There's billions of people out here. And when I tell you, like, it, it blows my mind that like my podcast is listened to in the UK, in South Africa, in Sweden, in China, so many different places. I'm like, really? <laughs> they want to hear this American girl? <laughs> but it's cool though. You know, it, it's, it's really cool. Um, so yeah, keep those things in mind. And if you have any other questions, like feel free to reach out. I ain't about, I'm not going to charge you to talk to you about this podcasting world. Um, yes, there's, you know, podcasting coaches and different things like that. But if you just want some insight from somebody that has actually like shown up and been consistent and, has grown their podcast to be something that is actually successful, definitely feel free to reach out. And with all of that being said, go out and be a badass. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Empowered Woman Badass and Unfiltered Podcast. If you found any value in this, please consider sharing and subscribing. Now go out and be a badass.